Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, ripping into a PSA box. I think there's 40 of them in here. Well that, well that was fun. Okay, here we go. So this is what you get in the box. You get a little ad for PSA card savers, affiliates. Um, all right, selling with Golden, um, another affiliate. Did you know? Set registry, PSA, and then my uh, thing here. Here are the two boxes. All right, they're, usually they have a sticker on them, but they don't this time. So I'm gonna unload these two real quick. Um, so the thing is, is what I did is, uh, it looks like there's some that came back ungraded, that sucks, is um, I ripped, or I, I, I broke some of the BCCG and other brands to make this this list up here okay so these are the backs so what I did is I saved each of the uh, little headers for some of these so for instance a 72 I have a BCCG 9 <clears throat> so as I get to those uh, that I broke I'll go ahead and uh, share first things first we're gonna get to these items that did not get graded so this one I thought was cool it's an uh, you know what come on I gotta look at my screen here. So this is an 89 upper deck. It didn't have the, the hologram and it was black and white in the back. So it came back as factory misprint, no holder. Ah, oh, that sucks. I thought that would've been cool to have in a PSA, um, to have that error. If anybody knows where I could get that done, um, if, if somebody else will grade it, that would be kinda cool. So there you go. Ah, oh, dude, seriously, this is the only LeBron rookie that I have, N9. Mini size requirement. What? Are you freaking kidding me? All right, PSA. So this one here, this was a uh, GAI, and it was uh, 2003 Sports Illustrated for Kids. Gem Mint 9.5. And so this was the card that was in there. Seems okay to me, but what do I know? There's the card there. But yeah, hope my camera's not too blurry. Um, if it is, that really blows. So there you go. Damn it. And then, oh, seriously? Return, no grade, no charge, no holder. I guess they don't grade star cards there. This is um, from a packet of Equal. Um, I don't know. I had a couple packs, uh, so I, I pulled this one out and I tried to get it graded. Let's see. Trying to get this focus, man. I I have it on autofocus, so I don't know what it's focusing on. <laughs> Not the card. So there you go. That's the um, star card. I thought it was a cool card, but they don't grade it. So I have to figure out who grades star cards. I have a couple now. All right. Let's see if we can uh, get a little focus on this one. It should be set on autofocus. There you go. Okay, so this item here I pulled from uh, Gem Elite. It had a 10. So we're going to keep that here. And here's the Beauty 89 Upper Deck, Ken Griffey Jr. And a 5! <laughs> so that went from a Gem Elite 10, pristine, down to a 5. Um, so there's a scratch on this case. But it's not the actual card that has the scratch. Um, wow. Um, I don't see why it would have a five. Um, unless I'm missing something. I just, it looks pretty awesome to me. But that's what I get from a 10 to a five. Wow. Um, so the five is going to be way over here at the end of the list. Okay. Next up is this Eddie George. I, I'm really not in focus. This is really distracting me. All right. Very disappointing with the uh, Griffey, but let's keep powering for it. This is an Eddie George rookie, um, 1996 something or other. Uh, Proline Edge. Um, uh, intense. Uh, nine. Okay. Eddie George, nine. That's a good one. I'll put that on the left side here. Next up is Celtics Rebounding Leaders, and that's going to have uh, 
the Larry Bird rookie on there. And as you can see here, you have Larry Bird, Ron Brewer, and Fred Brown. And we have a three. Fudge. Well, that was a waste of... Well, I, I think I paid um, maybe $12 or $14 each. Uh, this is, you know, a year ago. So there you go. Um, this is bad. Real bad. Um, is this the same card? No, this is a different card. Uh, oh, this is Magic's Rookie. I forgot I had that one. So there you go. 1980 Tops. Magic Rookie. And a 7. Okay. Respectable. Uh, there's all my 9s. <laughs> there's all my... Whew. So this return's a bit rough. Um, did I have a David Robinson? Anyway, this is a David Robinson rookie card from 89 um, Hoops. This is his real rookie holding the jersey. So there you see that there. And a nine. Okay, that's good. Nines are good. Better than threes. I have an 87 Fleer of um, Dr. J. I have a lot of 87 Fleer. I haven't submitted them. I'm, I'm not going to submit them at $50, but at 12 or 14 it's fine. A nine. Very good. That's a good one. All right. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. 1987 Fleer. At the time, this was probably going for good money. Probably not so much now. It's an eight. Okay. First eight. Second year, Patrick Ewing. True second year. Not like the Michael Jordan second year. Uh, 87 Fleer, and eh, not in great shape. And a seven. Womp, womp, womp. Another second year player, Carl Mailman Malone. Um, yeah. Oh, an eight. Okay, didn't expect that. Uh, Sir Chuck Barclay. This is his 87 Fleer, kind of like a second year, a seven. All right, this uh, this magic I picked it up for I think twenty bucks, and um, you know it's a good card. It, I, I you know um, at the time it, you know all all most of these were going for a lot of money a year ago, not so much anymore. Oh, this is a super action. Never mind, I didn't get this for twenty bucks. Seven PSA seven. I don't remember what I paid for it. Not much because um, I got it before the whole explosion in twenty twenty. Have an eighty one Kareem. It's a very nice looking card here. I thought it was, you know, I have a corner issue down here. I thought it was a good enough card, centering-wise. I thought it looked okay. A five. Okay, there's some damage there also. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. But I sure can with my eyeballs. Five, let's add that to the Griffey five. Oh, um, Chris Weber, rookie card. This is a Topps Gold C-Web Hall of Famer. There you go. And an eight. Okay. I had low hopes for that one just because these cards are bricked when you buy them. So it's tough to get a to get a good one. This is a 1978 Dr. J. Oh, I have a bunch of these. Um, I probably have like five or six of these cards raw. Eh. Is that a scratch? Oh, the card's not in very good condition. I'm, I'm expecting a low grade, but this I thought was my best one. <laughs> now, not so much. A four. Oof. This is a rough, rough go. Um, 91 Skybox, Michael Jordan, Team USA card. I got a nine of this. I really wanted to have a 10 for my personal collection, so that's what I'm hoping for. A 10! Our first 10! All right, well, you're going up there in the 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. This is the uh, stuff we're opening. Okay. Um, 89 Jordan. I don't have a 10 of this yet. Um, looking at this, I may get my first one. Nope. Another nine. Ah, well, we tried. So this is the second year magic card that I bought for 20 bucks. It wasn't in very good shape. Corners were a little soft based on the rest of everything. Um, I don't know. Let's go with a three or four. A four. Okay. Fair enough. Um, oh, Bernard King. I have two of his rookie cards. I just decided just to submit one. I don't like doing duplicates of cards. I'm afraid that they're going to hold it against me um, in case one's in better condition. 
Anyway, uh, Bernard King rookie card. And, oh, seven. Dang it. I was hoping for a higher grade. That's okay. Still fun. All right, second half. So this card I really liked. You get it basically one out of every box in the 91 Series 2. Um, let me uh, zoom out on my other camera. So this card I was hoping to get a 10 just for the PC. You have the whole team here. No number on the card. A 9. Ah, oh well. We tried, ladies and gentlemen. We tried. 1990 Fleer All-Stars Michael Jordan. Um, again, if I can get a 10 on this card, it'd be awesome. But no, I'll, I'll, I'll have to stick with an 8. <sighs> All right. It's becoming less fun. You know, I, I looked forward this, to this for a year and uh, hasn't been the treat I was hoping for. A 9. Dang it. Oh, they... I was afraid that they would give me a freaking misprint or whatever. So this is a Gretzky. Um, did I break the... No, okay. So I bought two sets of 79 back in the olden days. Oh, shit. There's a huge crease on this. Oh, my God. I just saw the crease. Do you see it? Oh, no. Ah, oh, that sucks. I was hoping for a six. I bought it because they told me it's probably a six. It's a four. Oh, damn it. That's disappointing. Oh, man. I didn't see that happening. Oh, shoot. Okay. Anyway, uh, moving along. This card was pretty cool. This is an honorary captain card from World Cup USA Soccer. Originally, it was a BCCG 10. I sent it in uh, for a for PSA to break it and then grade it, but I only wanted it back if they gave me a 10 on it. So they did not give a grade last time. It's it's not the gold edition. The gold edition will be gold here, uh, the, the lettering. So they didn't give me a grade last time. I sent it back in because I just wanted it graded. It's a nine, which is a good grade, but not a 10. Okay, next card. This was a break as well. Um... What is it? Oh, Jose Canseco. So I had it <laughs> advanced grading. I just was trying to break these things. Um, you know, it was 10 or $12 card. I thought it'd be fun. This is a gem 10 for advanced grading. And uh, looking at the centering on the back, not going to get a 10 here. So 86 traded Jose Canseco rookie. A 9. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Didn't expect that. Would have been cool if it was a Tiffany. All right, next on the docket is 1989 Fleer, Ken Griffey Jr., previously a BCCG 10. I broke it open, and now I'm expecting a very high grade. Okay, well, it's an 8. That's actually not too bad. Scratch here. I probably did that when I was digging into it. I didn't know what I was doing. Okay, so this card, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you'll remember this card. I, I thought it was in pretty good shape. I sent it in. Came back as a PSA 5. I was not thrilled about it. So uh, I broke it open and sent it back. But after looking at all these other cards, they were probably right. Oh, it's a 6. I got up a grade. Yay. There you go. Now I have to call this in and tell them that it's, you know no longer valid so they could remove it from the pop report so there you go six that's actually our first six for the day i shouldn't be too excited about that Oof, i'm nervous about this card i paid uh, quite a bit uh at the time this was a bccg9 uh, i think i paid i want to say 1500 to be a little more transparent um with the pricing and um there's the beautiful card of the hall of famer julius Irving. Got me two beautiful cards and you give me fours. Oh, Jesus, man, this is this is brutal, very brutal. So I go from a, a nine to a four, B C C G. But that's what happens, right? Wait a minute. Oh, sorry. Let me go back to this card real quick. Originally, it was a B C C G ten. 
and then it became a PSA 5, and now it's a PSA 6. <coughs> and I have to cough. Um, I'm choking. It's fine. I'll power through it. <clears throat> All right, next up is an 89 Tops Trader. This is a Beckett 8. Beckett is more reliable, the BG BGS. So they gave it an 8. Um, I just sent it in because I wanted the PSA slab and, you know, let's see. There's the uh, beautiful card. Oh, a 9. It worked. It worked. Another Griffey rookie. Okay. So next up is... I'm going to end with a crappy card, I bet. Okay, I ended with some pretty good cards. So this card here, there was some... I don't remember exactly what I purchased, but it was like some Michael, I mean, uh, some box, and then in it you get a uh, LeBron rookie, and it was a graded card, but it wasn't graded. It was just in a graded like slab, and that's all it said was 03, 04 upper deck, freshman season. I know it's not a true rookie, but it's the closest I, I think I have now. So that's the card. They're pretty common, and let's see the grade. An eight. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. Not a ten, but an eight. Okay, pretty good. Uh, Eighty-nine score traded. This was a company called USA Grading, and they had an eight point five. I don't know what USA Grading is, so we ripped it out of that bad boy and put it in this PSA holder. So if it was an eight point five, there. Let's see a little bit of movement on this card. A nine. So USA Grading did a good job with their grading. They're pretty close. Unlike BCCG. So a nine, that's that's really good. Um, this was the first card I actually took out. Um, oh, I don't have the, uh, the label for it. Shoot. I think this was a BCCG, um, what do you call it, uh, 10. I don't have the, the little sticker for it or whatever it's called, the tab. So, anyway, um, darn it. I think it was a BCCG 10, McGuire rookie. Uh, just This was the first one because I really wanted to figure out how the hell to break something open. So it's an eight. It probably was better condition, but I'm pretty sure it took a screwdriver to it because I didn't know what I was doing. All right, next up, I bought this card raw for way too much. I think 75 or 100 bucks. Um, it, was, it looked like a low grade. Uh, before submitting it. So based on everything I've seen today, I'm guessing a four or so, a five. Okay. Ricky Henderson rookie though is nice to have. Oh, this card. I'm excited about this one. Okay. Well, I don't know where my other cards are. Weird. Um, so this was a Mike, this is a Mike Trout 2017 Don Russ Aquas test number to, I want to say 49 or so, uh, 21 of 49 also says MVP. So let's see if we can attend. <laughs> yes. Oh, that should pay for the order. That's a cool card, though. Um, I'd have a tough time getting rid of that one. Anyway, that's a cool card. Oh, man. Next up, Albert Pujols, Ichiro Rookie. Probably a low grade. I had like three of these, two or three of these. And um, this is probably my best condition one, and it's not great. I was thinking maybe a seven or an eight. Um, not too confident coming into this now. A six. Damn it! Still cool. Two legends there. That's great. Um, I did a video where I opened a bunch of packs, and this was one of the packs that I opened. Was uh, I pulled the Derek Jeter? I was super excited, but in the video, the freaking video cut off, so you don't get to see it. But it's a pack pull. It's Derek Jeter, tops rookie, not gold, but still nice. A nine. Good job, pack. Oh, man, a 1990 Skybox. Who would do that? Well, people like to make fun of me about it, but they don't know the story. It's a prototype. So there you go. Uh, 1990 prototype, not very good condition, probably a seven. But now I'm looking at it. I think I see a huge crease in this corner. You see that line? Um, come on. I'm about to pause it or something. I don't know which camera I'm using. Anyway, here we go. A six. Ouch. I was expecting a low grade, just not that low. Uh, last card we're going to finish up with is an Ichiro 
Um, rookie card. It's 2001 Tops Rookie. It's in okay condition. An eight. Pretty good. So that's it. Um, this took about 15 months to come back to me for all this crap that nobody really wants. A three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then these. That's it. All right, guys. Um, you know, I hope you enjoyed the video. I seem to be missing some cards. I might be in my other order. Um, but, you know, leave some comments. Hopefully some likes. And we could talk about these cards. Very disappointed in most of these down here. These I'm okay with. But, you know, overall it was fun. Uh, I do have Hall of Fame rookies to add to my PC. So those are pretty cool. I want to thank you guys for watching the channel. Thank you for subscribing and all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye.